Hey guys, it's Dina here, and I am very excited to bring you a um, palette that I received in the mail today from a very sweet lady that I met here from YouTube. Um, her name's Joanne, and she sent me this along with a really cute little Christmas card with Snoopy on it. Um, but um, I wasn't expecting this at all. It was kind of a surprise. So um, this is from Canada. That's where she's from, and um, this is a palette that is identical as far as the layout is for the Naked palette from Urban Decay. Now I have not swatched any of these colors yet because I wanted you to get my true opinion on these. Um, this is from the brand Quo and it is a drugstore brand that is sold over in Canada and this is the Back to Basics um, eyeshadow palette. So it's got 12 shades, the same exact layout as the Naked um, palette, the original Naked palette, and it just says on the back here, it says, nothing is as, as beautiful as a natural you. Highlight your existing beauty with this collection of 12 eyeshadow colors from light and barely there to an intense brown and smoky tones to amplify your eyes. Also includes a full-size special edition eyeshadow brush. Um, and I was going to see if there's anything else on here, but it's just pretty much the ingredients. But this is what the palette looks like, and I'm going to show you. My Naked palette has seen its better days. It's traveled a lot. Um, but this one is about one shade longer, and you'll see what I mean by the shade. I mean, like, the, the width of the shade here. It's just that much longer, and then the um, Naked palette is actually like a velvety material. This is just a um, cardboard... Um, just kind of like a hard cardboard, you know, like the, um, um, oh, what are they called? Do, 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 do. Any of the palettes from like the Balm, those type of cardboard or, um, the ones that they're sold at, uh, Forever 21, those type of palettes. Um, so it's just a hard cardboard. Um, so they're, they're quite sturdy and then they're like a clamshell. So they, well, not, yeah, I guess you'd call it that. Um, it has a um, just a small mirror, the same size as the Naked, except mine fell out. I don't know what happened to the mirror, to my Naked palette. It's seen, seen it's better days, but anyway, um, this is what the um, mirror looks like, and I'm just going to open this palette back just a little bit so you can kind of see the shades, and I'll show you in comparison to the Naked palette what I mean by, I mean, this is a dead-on dupe for the Naked palette as far as the layout and the shades go. So as you can see, you've got this shimmery, kind of pale color here. Then you've got the champagne. You've got the matte, um, light brown. You've got the sparkly, um, kind of golden sparkled color. You've got the matte color here. Um, I guess I could be giving you the names. You've got virgin here, which is the same as this one. You have sin, which is the same as this one. You have... Naked, which is this matte color here. Sidecar, this shimmery, kind of got glitter in it. Um, Buck is more of a darker mid-toned brown. Then you've got um, Half Baked, which is the really bright metallic golden color. Um, you have Dark Horse, which is right here and is the same as this one. Um, and then there is Toasted. Um, I wish I could keep these lined up here. Um, toasted is right here. It's kind of like this... Um, reddish brown. Then you have Hustle, which is more of like a plum brown. Um, Creep, which is your sparkly black. And then Gunmetal, which is your sparkly gray. And I don't know how well these are going to, but there are the two there. So it closes together with um, some magnets, um, just like the Naked palette. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, swatch the actual shades from this new palette here from the Quo palette because I already have the Naked shades swatched to save some time on my hand. So let me see if I can't straighten out my tripod here and get the brush hair off of there. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to um, swatch these and really quickly I'll show you the brush that it comes with. It is a synthetic brush. Um, it looks like it'd be a great um, brush. I'm not sure for these colors unless you were using them wet, but I think it'd be great for a liquid product such as your um, Maybelline Color Tattoos or your MAC Paint Pots or something like that, your Stila Smudge Pots. The, this, this is the great kind of brush for that. I also like to use these type of brushes for um, glitters when I apply glitters because the synthetic seems to work pretty well. All right, so 
on to the swatch vest here. Um, here are the swatches just for reference of all of the naked shades that I have. Um, and I'll, I'll hold the camera up at a better angle here in a minute, but I just want to show you um, how these swatch in comparison to the naked colors. So um, the first color that I'm going to swatch is going to be the one that would be um, out of the Naked Palette Virgin, which the um, Virgin color is right here, and then I'm just going to swatch the Quo color right beside it. It's very pigmented. Wow. Pretty darn close. Actually, I think the Quo color is a little bit more pigmented, and um, I would say that the Naked or the virgin color out of the Naked palette is just a tad, and I mean a very tiny bit darker. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but no, nothing to where it would be substantially. You would have to have both palettes. Um, the next color would be the equivalent to Sin in the Naked palette. And with these Quo palettes, there is no color names or anything like that. So here is that color here. And then I'm just going to swatch it beside. Very, very similar. Very similar. Um, but the Naked palette the color um, sin is just a tad bit darker so it has a little bit more pink tone to it but they're pretty I mean they would be like sisters for sure all right the next color would be equivalent to um, naked which is just the matte light brown color and these mattes are very good they're not chalky they're not powdery they're not um, falling you know chunking up underneath my hand um, again this one is going to be the same um, as far as the color, it's this one is just a little bit more lighter toned. This is the Quo color here, and this is the um, Naked color here out of the Naked palette. So as you can see, they're a little bit different. This one looks almost more gray toned. Okay, all right. The next color is going to be the equivalent of Sidecar from the Naked palette. And this is how it is swatching here. It's, I mean, these are really pretty colors. And that one is, right here is the sidecar color from Urban Decay, and here is the color from the Quo palette. So those are pretty, pretty good uh, dupes right there, I would say. Very, very, very close. All right, the next color is going to be Buck from the Naked palette. And I'm just wiping my fingers off to make sure that they're not wet, because I know colors apply a lot darker when they're wet, so I'm just making sure my hand's nice and dry. Um, this is the color here out of the Quo palette, and then this is Buck right here out of the Urban Decay palette, so I'm just going to swatch that. And they are quite similar. I think that this one's just not as pigmented, but they look to be pretty much the same color once it's swatched. All right, the next one is going to be the equivalent to Half Baked, and this one is probably one of Urban Decay's most popular colors, so let's see how it goes as far as the Quo palette. It is very metallic, very gold, looks to be quite similar, and it is a little bit more yellow toned. So here is the Urban Decay color here, Here's the Quo color here. So as you can see, it's just a lot denser of a color on the Urban Decay side. Um, but, you know, these would definitely be a good dupe for each other. And I'm not sure what the cost of the palette is. I know that the um, lady that sent it to me said that it was a drugstore brand. So I'll see if I can't find anything online just to give me an idea so that I can share with you. I'll stick that in the information bar um, once I get the video put up. All right, so I am making a total mess with my swatches here. Let me see if I can't clean these up just a little bit. Okay, now the next color that I'm going to swatch is going to be the equivalent to Smog, which is right here in the Quo palette. So let's see how that one goes. It's very pretty, very metallic-y. Here is Smog from Urban Decay. And then I'm just going to swatch this one right next to it. Those pretty much to me, oh, poo. Poo, poo, poo. I swatched the wrong color. Hold on. Stay with me. I don't want to give you the wrong impression because that could be the one color that you love and used all of and I don't want you to think it's something that it's not. Okay, so let's try this again. This one would be the equivalent to smog. There. So those colors pretty much to me look like a dead-on dupe. Here's the Urban Decay. Here's the Quo palette. 
So those are very, 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 very similar, if not exact. All right, the next color is going to be Dark Horse, which is just like a dark, dark brown. And that's the one that I accidentally swatched over top the other one. But here it is here. It's kind of like a greenish, grayish brown. Um, and then here it is applied to the hand or to my arm. And actually, the Quo palette is a lot darker than the Urban Decay. So here they are. I would say they're probably the same color. This one just has a ton more pigmentation, so that one is actually better. Okay. The next one is going to be Toasted, which is a metallic um, reddish brown. And that one will be right here. That one does not feel like it's as pigmented as the other colors, but it could just be my swatch. Okay, so I'm going to swatch this one. That one was a little powdery. I think I got too much because I swatched it like four or five times. But that is the color right there. So here is the Urban Decay. Here is the Quo. And it appears to be just a little bit... Let me see if I can't lift this up. Um, it appears to be a little bit more like orangey toned brown than the Urban Decay one is. But they're, they're still quite similar. I mean, if you can see when I turn my arm in the light, it is very similar. Okay, so I'm going to stick this back over here. I'm getting close to the end, and I'm afraid that my tripod is going to fall over because it's a piece of poo. It's literally like resting on a wing in a prayer, so if it falls over, I apologize. All right, the next color is going to be what is equivalent to Hustle. One's very pigmented and uh, I'm running out of room here. So this is the color from the Quo palette on the right and on the left side is the Urban Decay. So I would say those are pretty much dead on. Um, they do have the same type of shimmer. I think that actually the Quo palette has a little bit more shimmer to it. Okay. Almost done, guys. Almost done. All right, I'm trying really hard not to spill this. All right, the next one would be Creep, which is the um, sparkly um, black. It's almost like a grayish black out of the Naked palette. And uh, it didn't swatch very well for me on my arm. This one seems to swatch a lot better, a lot softer. But it's just like a grayish black with lots of glitter in it. And I'll just swatch that right here. And they swatch almost identical. They're just kind of patchy. Um, they do have glitter in them. I think that the Urban Decay has a little bit more glitter, but this is the Urban Decay side here, and then this is the Quo side here. So that is those two. And then the last one here is going to be the Gunmetal color from the Urban Decay palette, um, and then this will be the Quo color here. Oh, that's really pretty. So that's what the color looks like there, and then I'm going to swatch it for you on my arm right here. So it is a lot more, I think, lighter gray. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Um, yeah, it's definitely more gray, I think. Um, the um, gunmetal color in the palette, the naked palette, is a lot more like blackish color. Um, but this one's a lot more like silver toned gray, but it's, it's, it's almost got like a topiness to it. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but, um, here are the colors here side by side. This isn't my best swatching video, but I did try. So hopefully you can see, um, just to get a, a, a good idea of how they are. So there are some that are quite very, very similar, some that are just dead on dupes, but, um, I think that if you live in Canada and you were able to get your hands on this and you were wanting to get the Naked palette, I would suggest to just get this um, and save your money and get something else because they're so similar that um, you could definitely recreate the looks using this palette and save your money. So um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below for me. Uh, please subscribe if you're new. I've got some more videos that I'm going to be doing here shortly. And um, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.